Hello everyone, in today's video we will be discussing and explaining all the covens from Twilight. The coven is a formation of at least three or more vampires. Covens are not very common as most vampires prefer to travel alone or in pairs, but a few exist stably over long periods of time, even rising to prominence in the vampire world. As most vampires drink human blood, they are wilder and bloodthirstier than vegetarians, and therefore do not usually get along with each other very well. In large covens, members can easily turn on each other for domination of blood, and the coven could be split apart by the feuding members. This is mostly common in the southern parts of North America, where covens are formed to battle other covens for territorial means. Vampires also don't want to attract attention to themselves, and it is harder to stay inconspicuous when there are many living together in one place for too long. Few covens, however, are exceptions to this rule. There are many living together and maintain semi-permanent or permanent homes. Doing this requires a great deal of discipline if the coven wants to avoid suspicion and keep the Volturi from becoming involved, and most vampires don't care for the hassle. So let's take a look at all of the covens from Twilight, and we'll start with the Volturi. The Volturi were founded by Arrow, Caius and Marcus, along with Athenodora. They were later joined by Sulpicia, and Marcus's wife Didyme, who was also Arrow's sister. The coven originated in Greece and proceeded to gather vampires with useful talents to build up their power and eventually relocated to Volterra, Italy. When the coven became strong enough, the Volturi usurped control of the vampire world from the Romanian coven, the original ruling coven, and presented the laws of prohibiting vampires from being noticed by humans. After the Romanians were defeated in the century-long war, their next target was the Egyptians, with only two survivors from the demise, Amun and Kebi. The power increased incredibly after recruiting Jane and Alec, two vampire twins with extremely powerful gifts, and subsequently made the coven untouchable. They presented the twins for the first time when the Romanian coven tried to regain control, and defeated the army easily with their powers. At one time, Marcus and his wife Didyme grew tired of the coven's warring lifestyle, and planned on leaving. Arrow was upset by this, but pretended to give them his support, but this was all an act, and Arrow later secretly killed Didyme to prevent Marcus from leaving, because he found his brother-in-law's power much more useful than his sister's. Marcus spent a majority of time trying to find the murderer, he never realised it was Arrow who did it, and when he failed he became suicidal. At this point Arrow met Chelsea, and realised that she had the power to manipulate relationships and force loyalty, and he used her to keep Marcus loyal to the Volturi. The death of Didyme, however, prompted Caius and Arrow to ensure that tight security surveillance was monitored at all times. As Chelsea's power is the key to their civilization, Arrow always gives her what she wants, for example her mate Afton, who is far less skilled than her, but he also uses Corrin's gift to keep her from leaving. With Chelsea on their side, they were able to easily recruit other vampires who did not wish to join them originally, for example Dimitri, Renata and Heidi. The Volturi have ruled the vampire world for 25 centuries by the start of the series. During that time, the coven did a number of things to ensure stability in the world, including outlawing the creation of immortal children, cleaning up after the southern wars in the southern parts of America, and creating their own vampires to spread their laws across the world. At some point, Caius was almost killed in a fight with a werewolf. Becoming terrified of his people's mortal enemies, he pushed the Volturi to hunt them to near extinction in Europe and Asia. Carlyle Cullen at one point came to stay with the coven. The leaders enjoyed his company greatly but were unable to persuade him to hunt humans instead of animals. Carlyle also tried to teach them values of human life but to no avail. The four were painted by Italian painter Francesco Solimina. Carlyle eventually left the coven after two decades and established his own coven in America. Elazar was once part of the Volturi Guard, given the task to detect any individual with a particular gift that might make them useful to the coven, but he eventually left with his mate Carmen. The two later founded the Denali Coven. Next up we have the Amazon Coven. This coven was formed when Kichiri transformed Safrina and Senna her two best friends from her human life into vampires. They mostly kept to themselves in the forest, never interacting with humans unless they were feeding. The three Amazonian vampires are very close. 
The Amazon coven first came across the Cullen family in the 1940s on a hunting trip. They were quite taken with Carlyle's gentle, friendly manner and so befriended him and his family. Let's take a look at the three members in detail. Kichiri was the creator of Safrina and Zena as well as their best friend. They come from the same tribe and have known each other since they were humans. Kichiri's bond with her two best friends was enough to motivate her to go back and change them. She helps Alice and Jasper find Noel and Hulin and helps the group arrive in Forks just in time to prevent a fight between the Cullens and the Volturi. She does not make an appearance in the movies. Safrina Safrina was gifted with the talent of creating vivid illusions, either of what she has seen as she has shown Edward the parts of the jungle she was familiar with or illusions of her imagination. The illusions she creates are described by Edward as being very realistic, anyone could believe it was real. When Bella needed Renesme entertained, Safrina and Renesme traded mental pictures with one another, forming a strong friendship. Then we have Senna. Senna was the shortest of the three but still very tall. She travels the forks with Safrina to assist the Cullens. She doesn't speak and instead follows Safrina around like KB follows a moon, but acts like she's more a part of Safrina than an obedient follower. Next up we have the Egyptian Coven. The Egyptian Coven is one of the oldest vampire covens if not the oldest in existence. The remaining coven is just a fraction of the size of the original but they still hunt on their traditional lands. The coven is located somewhere in Egypt. It consists of a moon, Kabi, Benjamin and Tia with the moon as the leader. It stated that even though they are not a biological family, they could pass for one. They aren't vegetarians, feeding on human blood and are all mated. The original coven existed as individuals centuries before the Romanian coven's rise to power. After the Romanians began to grow as a coven and dominate their part of the world, several solo vampires and vampire couples joined forces to protect their dominance in the Nile River Valley. The Egyptians and Romanians fought for domination of the vampire world before the Volturi rose to power and defeated the Romanians. Had the Romanians continued the expansion of their empire, they would have eventually tried to overthrow the Egyptians. When the Volturi made a move on the Egyptians next, Amun and KB deserted to the coven for self-preservation. After the coven was destroyed, Amun met and changed Dimitri, hoping to collect his own gifted vampires and rebuild the coven. Together they worked to improve his skill to maximum potential, but this drew the attention from the Volturi, who then used Chelsea's power over relationships to bend Dimitri's will and make him one of the Volturi guards. Centuries later, Amun decided to create another gifted vampire with one more caution. He found Benjamin performing fire magic on the street and one night snatched him from his family and changed him. While he was still under the newborn rampage, Amun taught him everything about the vampire world in history, arts and science. Five years later, their coven was joined by Tia, Benjamin's distant relative and only connection to his human past. Over the next few centuries, they lived normal, by vampiric standards, inconspicuous and quiet lives. Next up we have the Irish Coven. The Irish Coven is a coven located in Ireland. Its members are Siobhan, Liam and Maggie, with Siobhan being the leader. Siobhan and Liam were the ones who founded the coven, but Maggie's talent made her an important element of it. They are not vegetarians, but they are civilized compared to the more violent and vulgar covens. Although Siobhan is the leader, she and her maid Liam trust Maggie's judgement because of her talent to sense lies when she hears one. The coven was first established in the early 1650s when newborn Liam met Siobhan and they became a couple. A new member was added to their coven when they stumbled across a young girl in 1847 who was starving to death due to the great famine that had affected her village. She could tell right away that they weren't humans, which intrigued Siobhan to the point that she decided to change her as she had always been curious about people who could develop a special talent as vampires and believed that she had stumbled across one. Liam did not like the idea because he didn't want tension with anyone else. Siobhan persuaded him to agree, though only reluctantly. It didn't take long before Liam started to enjoy Maggie's company and they both treated her with honesty and fondness. The coven stumbled across Carlisle Cullen at some point and they became good friends. 
Maggie and Siobhan would later find him and Edward in 1919. Little did they know, except Edward, it was their encounter with Siobhan that planted the idea of drinking human blood in Edward's mind that would later start his rebellious phase. They continued to cross paths from time to time and met with more of Carlyle's family members. Carlyle suspects that Siobhan may have a gift of her own without realising it. Next up, we have the Mexican Coven. The Mexican Coven was founded by a vampire named Maria, who used it to raise an army of newborn vampires, with two stray vampires who were chased out because of the Southern Vampire Wars, Lucy and Nettie. Its main purpose was to win back the land that Maria had lost during the lesser hostilities that continued after the Volturi put an end to the wars. This coven lived on human blood and consisted mostly of often replaced male newborns. Only Maria is presently a part of this coven as Lucy and Nettie have been disposed of for betrayal. Maria's right hand, Jasper Whitlock, had left for the north. She is currently still creating newborns to protect her territory and executing them after their first year. Shortly before Maria's time, a vampire named Benito rose to power in the south by forming an army of newborn vampires, wiping out neighbouring covens and pressuring others to create their own newborns in order to defend their territories. Eventually, the Volturi swept in and cleaned house, giving the south a short time of peace until others started forming their own armies once again and attacking unsuspecting covens like the Monterey Coven, which left only Maria alive. Defeated and alone, Maria joined forces with two other vampires, the two I mentioned, Lucy and Nettie, who had also lost their territories and covens. To create an effective army, Maria decided to look for people with a military to turn and stumble across Jasper Whitlock. Overnight, they created an army of newborn vampires and reclaimed their old territory with few casualties, one of the survivors of course being Jasper. Later on, they continued to attack the neighbouring territories by continuously creating newborns and disposing of those who became useless after the first year. Jasper became Maria's favourite soldier and his power to influence others' feelings, which worked as a means to keep the newborns from killing each other. The group was later torn apart when Nettie and Lucy attempted to rebel against Maria. Jasper felt their emotions and their intentions and he warned Maria and together they killed Lucy and Nettie in a preemptive attack. Every year, Maria ordered Jasper to dispose of the vampires that had almost lived up to their year mark as newborns. But Jasper found promising skills in Peter and persuaded Maria to keep him. Two years later, Peter fell in love with a newborn named Charlotte and betrayed the coven after multiple failed attempts to keep her in the coven. Together they fled Mexico and went up north and Jasper could have slaughtered them in no time but he chose to let them flee. After this incident, Maria's feelings towards Jasper changed and the two of them started planning to eradicate one another. Five years later, Peter returns to visit Jasper and told him about his life up north. He invited him to join them, which he accepted to avoid killing Maria and in hopes of finding a better future than his life in the coven that had so depressed him. This coven is still active to this day with Maria as the permanent member. She continues to create and dispose newborns to protect her territories and has come to forgive Jasper for his betrayal. Next up we have the Romanian Coven. The Romanian Coven is one of the oldest vampire covens in existence. This coven is located somewhere in Romania known as Dacia at the time of its founding. It was the original ruling coven before the Volturi overthrew them with their supernaturally talented guards in a war between 400 and 500 AD. After their loss of power, the coven now consists of only Vladimir and Stefan. In ancient times, a group of ambitious vampires called a truce to the usual squabbling between small covens and joined forces for the purpose of gaining power. Their ambition allowed them to overcome their competitive drive and cooperate. Eventually, the Romanian coven became the largest and the ruling coven of the vampire world. The coven consisted of a guard and subordinates. The majority of the coven though concentrated on physical strength with most of its members being physically imposing vampires. As with most vampires at the time, did not bother keeping their existence a secret. They willingly let the people of Romania know they were vampires on par with the Egyptian coven. Humans were delivered to them and if they were pleased enough, the Romanians would choose to change them. But when the Volturi came to power, 
the Romanians were usurped after almost a century of warring against each other. Their downfall originated from their underestimating the advantage of supernatural abilities that existed in some vampires, which the Volturi had collected. Three members, Stefan, Vladimir and Vladimir's mate, escaped execution when their castle was destroyed. Ever since then, they had harboured resentment towards the Volturi and would do anything to overthrow them, seeming very cold and bloodthirsty. At one point after their downfall, the remaining members attempted to destroy the Volturi and take back their power by gathering over 100 recruits, thinking that their numbers would overcome the Volturi's talented members. It was then that leader Arrow displayed Alec and Jane's destructive powers and they massacred the entire army, Vladimir's mate included. Stefan and Vladimir only survived because they were waiting at the escape route but they had planned a trap for the expected Volturi retreat. After this, the Romanians made no further attempt to create more vampires for their coven. They decided to disappear until the Volturi weakened or another power presented itself. Every few decades, Arrow would send his talented tracker Dimitri to seek them out and see what they were doing, which forced Vladimir and Stefan to constantly move and always be on their guard. Since they posed little to no threat to the Volturi, the two of them were always left on their way. Next up we have the Olympic Coven. The Olympic Coven, more commonly known as the Cullen family and also known as the Cullen clan or Cullen coven, is a coven of vegetarian vampires. It consists of Carlisle, Esme, Alice, Emmett and Edward Cullen as well as Rosalie and Jasper Hale. Later in the series, Bella Swan and her vampire hybrid daughter with Edward Renesme Cullen are also introduced to the coven. Five of the nine members are supernaturally gifted. The Cullens are the second largest and most powerful coven with only the Volturi ranking higher in number and power but more mature and stable than most, a result of abstaining from human blood and hunger for power. They are known to be very loyal to each other and put more value on human life than most other vampires. Abstaining from human blood takes the competitive aspect out of their hunting instincts and as a result allows them to form stronger family bonds than traditional vampires. They currently live in Forks, Washington, which they have no plans of leaving unless forced to do so. The Cullens prefer to stay in one place as long as possible, choosing cloudy climates where they can go outside during the day without revealing their inhuman nature. But after six to seven years, they are always forced to move on before the lack of aging is noticed. They own several homes so that they can return to places they have especially enjoyed, but only after enough time has passed that they won't be recognised as the same people who once lived there. Each member maintains several well-tended identities, complete with documents to support them, which allows the Cullens to establish themselves in new locations as necessary. Each time the Cullens move to a new place, the relationships they claim to share with one another may shift. In one place, two members might pose as father and adopted son, in another, brothers or uncle and nephew. Regardless, the bonds of love and respect between them are the same. Finally, we have the Denali Coven. The Denali Coven is a coven of vegetarian vampires comprising of Tanya, Kate, Garrett, Carmen, Alizar and, for a while, Irina and Laurent. The Denali Coven are one of the two known vegetarian vampire covens in the world the other being the Cullen family. They are very close to them, being one of the Cullens most loyal allies, going so far as considering themselves their extended family, or their cousins. The Denali Coven is located in Denali, Alaska, which along with their vegetarian diet, allows its members to live alongside humans without too much trouble. The coven was originally founded by Sasha, who was responsible for transforming Tanya, Kate and Irina into vampires. They considered Sasha their mother, and one another sisters. After Sasha was executed by the Volturi for creating an immortal child for Seely, Tanya assumed leadership of the coven. They were joined by Alizar and Carmen sometime after they adjusted to their vegetarian lifestyle and later by Laurent who began a brief romantic flirtation with Arena before he was killed by the Ulay pack of werewolves. The coven then suffered another loss, Arena again at the hands of the Volturi. At this difficult time, they were joined by Garrett who had formed an attachment with Cade. The Denali's constitute the third largest vampire coven in a stable condition. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the next upcoming video. 
it just might be a little bit better than this one.